three weekends of fishing to catch up on because myself and Thomas have been different ends of the country. I've been here, he's been there, he's been there, I've been there, all over the place. So, a couple of little separate blogs, he's done his, I've done mine. Here goes. Mine starts with the Angling Trust Winter League Final. Uh, it took place a couple of weeks ago. It was split between Decoy Lakes in Whittlesey and the drains around March, the Old River Neen, um, Factory Bank, them places on the drains. Um, after a couple of weeks practicing, a few different sessions, we learned quite a little bit, bit of a camera adjustment, and I had a very good match. And luckily, in the last vlog, you'll remember I talked about drawing a really difficult bit, and I'm actually really glad I did draw there, because come the day of the match, I drew in a really dodgy section. It wasn't very good at all. Um, but everything I'd learned in practice that day, fishing lots of different swims, taking it really easy with bait, really helped me out. Um, I actually ended the match with two kilo, 520 grams, which wasn't a lot. You know, a lot of people were saying you'd need 10 pound, eight pound for good points. Um, but I followed the scales up my section and they actually ended up second in the 17 pegs with that, um, which I was really, really pleased about. I proper had a bit of a grafting match, cut a few fish on bread short, then I swear it changed to squats on two lines across, then it, that went a bit dodgy, so I cut a few little perch on chopped worms, and then like an hour to go, I couldn't get a bite, and I ended up fishing bread down the middle again, a bit further away from me, and nicked like a dozen chunky little roach on that, and they made all difference, because it were really close. Um, there were a couple of like, one kilo 800s, one kilo 700s, so we're really lucky. Second in section, missed out on winning it to Ian Shepherd. Well done, Shep, the hemp god. Um, he had 60 grams more than me, the devil. I'm coming after you next time. Um, and on the team front, it went very well for us. We ended up winning it as a team by, I think it was just one point. We pipped Starlet, Centre Starlet's by. Um, but we were absolutely made up. The decoy team did awesome, um, as did the rest of the drain team. Alan Scofflon won his section on the drains. Will Freeman was six. Dave Brooks won his. Simon... Fields won his as well, I think. I was second. Andy Geldart won the match at Decoy with £180 or something silly. So we had an awesome time. It was really, really close. We ended up winning. Proper chuff to bits. We put a quite a bit of time in this year. Um, and it's nice to know that the final is at Decoy and March for the next two or three years still. Because it's a place that not a lot of teams really go a lot. And it gives you the opportunity to go, have a practice... Um, and hopefully everything you learn over like the event being there for a few years you can bring back the following year and uh, catch a few fish using it so brilliant big well done to second place team um, Starlet and a massive well done to Dren and Oxford for coming third as well I know they were chuffed with the result they've got a team of awesome anglers I don't know why they were chuffed because they're brilliant um, so well done boys really really good now after the Winter League final was the pole fishing Preston Innovations Pairs final at Woodlands View where I had an excellent partner, Mr. Tom Scalby. Um, and I think we drew really well, you know, in this final. Um, we drew really well when we qualified. We, we had like double second place weight, so we must have been on good pegs. And then this time we drew two pegs. I had loads of room on Arles Lake and he had loads of room, room on Dean's. Um, I can't remember who drew for us. I think it was Jordan Holloway and... So I don't know who drew Tom's peg, but thank you for drawing me a good peg. And I had a really nice match. Um, I caught skimmers on chop worms and maggots. I fed two lines, one with worms, one with maggots. I didn't know which one were going to work, so I thought I'd feed two at the start, one left, one right, both at 30 metres. And I caught off both in the end. It was quite nice having both options. I'd go on worms, catch a few. If it went a bit dodgy or up to carp or something, change to me maggot one, keep feeding them both. And he ended the match with £40, 4 ounces, excuse me, of little skimmers, a few bigger skimmers, some roach, uh, eight F1s, some cute little ghosty F1s, they are cool then, proper cute. Um, and that was enough to win the lake and also come second on the match individually to Andy Power, beat it by a pound, devil, um, well done mate, and... More importantly, um, we had a good result as a pair, which we will leave you to find out a little bit later because we've got an interview with the winners coming up after Thomas's part of this blog. Um, and the weekend just passed. Is that right? Am I in the right place here? 
yeah, the weekend just passed has been the Census Challenge Final, um, which has been awesome because it was on the Gloucester Canal. The weather were nice for a change. Normally, this final, it's terrible weather running up to it. Whatever the venue we're on gets flooded, coloured, loads of crappy water goes in. This time, it'd be mild, a little bit of consistency, no wind on the days. It was lovely, it was brilliant. Um, and it fished quite well, considering. Um, there was a lot of small fish this year, which is nice to see, and quite a lot of bream as well. Fished its rocks off in practice on Friday, um, even though we didn't catch a lot. We got two teams, Dredd and Barnsley, um, and the first day I drew a new section to the left of Hempstead Bridge. It was quite nice, um, it was very difficult, with only £5.14, I think Sam Wildsmith had to win our section, and he was in our other Dredd and Barnsley team, and he pushed me down to second place. And my £4.4 4 was second in the 11 peg section, um, which I was quite pleased about because I felt like I was the wrong end of the section. Um, but I was lucky because I had a spare peg. And tactics for the day were a little bit like the Winter League final. I did a bit of everything. I fished a short line at 6 metres in case the fish were in the shallow water. I say shallow, it was still about 8 feet deep there. I fished another one at 11 metres, just coming up the shelf of the canal in about 11 foot of water. And then I fished another one at 13 metres, nice and positive, intended for skimmers. Um, I flitted between them all day, caught a few small fish off each one, ended up with £4.4. .4. Day two, I got beat again by a Drennan Barnsley angler. The this team are meant to help us out, and both days they pushed me into second place. But I did end up second in the section. I had two kilos and 40 grams, beaten by Frankie Giannoncella. Devil. He pushed me down second. Um, and similar match, virtually the same match. I even unwound the same rigs off my winders and used them for two days running. Um, again, six metres, 11 metres, 13, alternated between them. Caught a few fish on each. A few little skimmers were a little bonus on that second day. Helped me out a lot. Um, so I ended up in a nice place. So I had four points. Just missed out on the individual money. Um, I think I were in the top ten. But on the team front, this is very interesting. We... Had a good day on the first day. Um, Denty won his section, I was second, Lee Carey was third, Andy Powell was fourth and Alan was sixth and we ended up third on the day behind Census 28 and Dorkin. And the second day we didn't do so well, I think we had something like 21 points so we were a bit out of it, a bit gutted but then the B team, we say the B team, we might be changing names next year, they call themselves the B team came back and they got three section wins and two fifths which were 13 points which not only was enough to come second on the day it was enough to put them a point ahead of Dioa Dorkin to win it overall so Dren and Barnsley B keep saying B team you know they can't be they're going to be A plus I think next year uh, won it so that means that Dren and Barnsley teams won the Census Challenge for three years in a row now I absolutely made up for them, and um, it were awesome. Our team still managed to come six, so we were in the money. Learned a lot, good weekend away fishing, really, really enjoyed it. And now I'm going to hand you over to Thomas for his little section of the vlog. See you later. So last Saturday saw me going to Heronbrook Fisheries to fish an open match in preparation for the Spring League that I'm fishing there with Rob Perkins, Cameron Cross, and Jordan Holloway. I drew Peg. 22 on Bridgepool and to be honest I had quite a frustrating day because the wind was really bad it was channeling down the straight where I was sat now if you're looking at the little insect clip that I've dropped in here you'll probably get a false impression because this was taken at the end and believe me it was a lot lot stronger earlier in the day so strong in fact I could only fish about seven meters of pole um, on my bump bar to get half decent presentation anyway I caught a few F1s and some silvers through the day, but had a real golden spell in the last sort of hour of the match, catching down the edge to my right where I loose fed maggots out of my hand, and I've caught some big F1s on that. They were really good. I ended up with £70, um, which just missed out on the section, and was only actually £6 off framing on the day. Um, it fished really well. And although I was a bit frustrated, because I know a couple more fish could have actually got me in the frame, um, I did learn a lot, not so much with how I fished, because uh, the wind hampered me a bit. But some of the lads who had the wind a bit more favourably, I spoke to them. And as always at home, look, everyone was dead friendly and open. And I did learn a little bit um, for the first round of the Spring League, which I'll talk to you about now, 
even though there was a match in between, which I'll come back to. So yesterday, the first round of the Spring League, I drew pegged next to where I was the Saturday before, and that was pegged 23 on bridge. Now, I quite fancied it, to be honest. Um, there was no wind, although it was raining quite heavily, and you were a corner peg there, so you've got some options, some, some room and some water to go at. I've had a strange old match, though. I've not caught anything on maggots, how I caught the week before, other than a few small silvers. Never had an F1, even fishing down towards the peg where obviously I caught the big F1s down the edge. I never caught one there, I just caught a few roach. And the only place I could get a bite was fishing up to a red bush, which was pretty much straight across from me. And I kind of potted my pellets on that line and fished a formal expander on the hook, and I've caught probably 10 F1s and two proper carp through the day. The interesting thing was for me, though, how I like to fish when it's soft pellet fishing at this time of year and, and the fish are still a bit cagey is to move about a lot, start new lines, but it just didn't work at all. That red bush was the only place I could catch. And yet Andy North to my right, he, he fished a brilliant match. He moved all over his peg, different pellet lines at the bottom of the far shelf, and he's ended up with £45. And he's actually, I think he's, he won our section anyway, and it won our mini section. Um, but anyway, can't complain. Um, I ended up um, ninth in my 30 peg section, which is decent points for the team, obviously. Um, Jordan came 14th in his 30 pegs. Rob came 16th in his 30 pegs. And Cam Cross did really well to come 7th in his 30 pegs. So, between us, we had a reasonable score. I think we had 46 points, which put us 10th after the first round. So, a long way to go, but a reasonable start. We need a better draw next time, and we need to just push upon a few things, and I think we'll be alright. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, the match I missed out in between was, of course, the Preston Innovations Pole Fishing Pairs Final, which was last Saturday. Now, I can give you one piece of advice about pairs fishing matches. Always pick a really good partner. And I certainly took my own advice very well on that, and Matt Godfrey put in a brilliant performance to win his lake with... £40, added to my much more humble £11.14, gave us uh, £51.14, I think, or something like around those those marks, which was enough for second overall. As for my match, it was quite difficult. I drew front deans, peg 14, and I've caught very little in front of me. I don't know whether the water movement from the aerator or the fact that you're a little bit hemmed in by the pegs around you works against you a little bit uh, there, because it is the right end of the lake, and I did half fancy it, but a lot of my left really struggled, and, and Kagasi Perry opposite me really struggled as well. Um, Aidan Mansfield to my right did very well. He fished pinkies all day, and he's had £18. As we had a few more fish than me. Um, but the, the real get-out-of-jail thing for me, the thing that saved me from embarrassment really, was I fed a line with maggots down to my right, and I caught some big roach uh, on that. 10, 12 ounce things. But you live and you learn. A great match. Big well done to the winners, uh, John Harvey and Andy Power. And we've even got a little interview with them, which we'll drop in for you now. Guest appearance for this little part of Bagging Bros. We've got the 2016-17 Preston Innovations Pole Fishing Pairs champion sat in the side of us. John Harvey and Andy Power. Well done today, boys. Cheers, boys. Awesome performance. How much have you won? How much? Oh, I've got two grand, is it? <laughs> two grand. <laughs> two grand. Oh, isn't it that? Brilliant 2, stuff. And you know strangers to success in this. You won it before, didn't you? Yeah, was it two years ago? I think it was two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 and you're only allowed to enter it twice, aren't you? Now not coming anymore. <laughs> That's it then. John, what have you had today, mate? Like twenty-four pound twelve. And how did you catch them little beauties? And what were they? I've caught eighteen new F ones, new stocky F ones. Yeah. A tench, a couple of Tinker. Roots. A little pinkfish tail on him. Oh, Beautiful, lovely. lovely, simply lovely, <laughs> simply lovely. I've had a few roach and a few little skimmers as well. And that twenty-eight pound was added to your uh, forty-one pound. Yeah. I've been on high pool yeah. peg ten. Match winning forty. Yeah. Winner, <laughs> chicken <laughs> dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I've, uh, I've probably had twenty odd big F ones. And I've fished cast this shower about 30 metres. You had some big ones, didn't you? I watched yeah. them your way in. And a goldfish. Ginger fish. <laughs> Ginger fish. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. Nice day. Brilliant yeah. stuff, boys. Brilliant stuff. Thomas, we haven't done so bad either, have we, to be well, fair? You said a bit of bragging now. Yeah, yeah. A bit of bragging. Yeah. We've come yeah. second. Yeah. Bag of sand. Thousand quid, I'll, I'll thank you very it, much. Mainly thanks to your second in the match performance, though, which was 
Oh, you know. Magnificent, in my opinion. Oh, it was solid where I was, though. I had loads of room, drew an absolute flyer, caught loads of skimmers for about two and a half hours, one a chuck, it was solid as out, and then... Dirty, dirty, dirty. Jaws coming. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe how many big carp you can land on light tackle. Obviously, they don't count today. But um, they come in and I couldn't catch any skimmers after that. Do you boys know any secrets for avoiding them? No, I've had a few today. I've had loads today. Have you? Yeah. Oh, they're nagging, aren't they? And you've had twelve pound yeah. added to the four. I have, yes. Have you caught that? I've caught on maggots, loose feeding maggots. I've caught some big roach down the edge, which was the highlight of my day. It was very difficult where I was. Quite a tough day. I didn't think I got twelve pounds to be honest. No, well, I got a lot less. But when I heard how much you caught, I was very happy. Awesome, awesome. Anyone got anything else to add? Ten nice little addition to the to, to the browse. They're quiet bunch, you aren't you? You're normally oh, yeah. loud and yeah. strong, silent type. Yeah. Look, at them, look at them both. Ooh. Can't speak too loud, the rubbish not going well, is it? Oh, <laughs> never mind, never mind. Well then again, boys, absolutely awesome. And uh, we'll catch up with you later.